We grow a garden not only because it's tasty, but also to be a little more self-sufficient. And the only thing more self-sufficient than growing your own food is completing the whole life cycle of the crop from seed to harvest to seed without having to buy anything. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we all become a little more self-sufficient. And today's episode is all about seed saving. Or more accurately, my all-time top five favorite crops to save seeds from. Time short as always, so let's get into it. Crop number one to save your own seeds from is lettuce. This nutritious powerhouse comes in four main growth types, but when the weather gets hot and dry, they all bolt and flower the same. Not only that, for the most part, lettuce is self-pollinating, making the seed collection a breeze. The second crop on my list for seed saving is tomatoes. A true garden heavy hitter, almost everyone grows tomatoes. Saving seeds off the ripe fruit is easy, but tomato seeds do need to be fermented first to get rid of their gelatinous coating. On top of that, make sure to only save heirloom tomatoes, as store-bought and hybrids are going to give you unknown results in the following season's fruit. Even though they're small, the seeds are mighty and they're long-lived. They'll store for up to five years or more. Coming in at number three, we've got peas. The real secret to saving your pea seeds is to leave those pods on the vine to dry for as long as possible. You really want those peas, which also happen to be the seeds, to dry out completely. The more dry they are, the better they're going to store and the more viable they're going to be at planting time. For a comprehensive tutorial on saving your own pea seeds, check out this video right here. Back to the nightshade family, we have peppers. Just like tomatoes, Try to leave these guys on the plant for as long as possible for the most viable seed. After collection, dry the seeds out for two to three days and store them in a cool, dark place. And if you're saving seeds at the hots, do be careful. And lastly, rounding out my top five list of crops to save seeds from is green onions. This quick growing biennial plant often gets tricked into flowering and setting its seed in the first year. Which is awesome, because green onions are also one of the best pollinator attractors out there. At around midsummer, after seemingly flowering for months on end, the seed heads completely dry out. At which time, you can shake them, getting loads of the shiny black seeds in the process. Just one seed head alone could provide you with hundreds of green onion seeds. Self-sufficiency through saving your own seeds. What could be better than that? nothing except maybe watching the next episode of the garden quickie thanks for watching guys and hey if garden quickies are your thing be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less